What's going on, my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today. And what we're going to be looking at is the Mare Multiple Price Band. So before we get into this, I want to shout out and say Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Hope you're having a wonderful time with your family. I'm getting some great time with my family, but I just wanted to break off quick here, give you a little update because you guys are my extended family here, and I want to help each one of you the best that I can. So when we're taking a look at this, one thing I want to mention here, guys, is we've had a lot of shakeouts. We've had a lot of people getting liquidated. And I know there's been a lot of talk that people believe the top's in for Bitcoin. And right now, just from all the indicators that I look at, I still believe we have further upside in this market. I don't know how much more. I'm still thinking of one more good solid leg up. But I do think we are still going to go over that $108,000, $109,000 territory. That's just my opinion. And stepping back and looking at the big picture like we're looking at when we're taking a look at the mayor multiple, what you'll see is that we are in bullish territory right now. And just to give you a quick summary of this so you know what we're looking at here, it says the mirror multiple is calculated by taking the price of Bitcoin and dividing it by the 200-day moving average value. The thinking behind the multiple is that by comparing the current price of Bitcoin and its longer-term moving average, you get a sense of it, of whether it's overbought, overvalued, or oversold, undervalued. And if we're looking at this, just to show you here, guys, you can see in yellow, price action right here, which is going to be in white is right in the bullish territory. We're sitting right in the middle of the yellow bands, which is going to be bullish. Up above that band, we're going to have bullish extension. Now, earlier, our run-up in March, we did just barely touch into that bullish ex extension, but we did not get into the overbought territory. And if you go back, I took just to 2014, just so you can get a bigger picture of what I'm looking at here. But if you go back, every cycle we have gotten into or at least touched this overbought territory in red. So you can see back in 2014, we hit it. 2018, we hit it. 17, 18, we hit it. Back in 2021, we ended up getting into that just barely there, but we still hit it. And then this time, we have not gotten to it yet. And I'm not saying that we have to here because I understand diminishing market cycles, guys. You know, this is my you know third cycle that I've been in this space. But I still believe that's an area that we potentially could go up and still tag and still touch. And then that potentially could be the end of the bull market. And if we did get up into that range, that overbought territory here. So on the lower end of it, we could be looking at that $150,000 to about $175,000. And I still think that may be a little high. I've always said that $130,000, $150,000 right in that range. But still, that would would be really nice and that's just putting you in the bullish extension if you got into the overbought territory and that's when things get a little crazy you'd be looking at that 175,000 up to about $300,000. So, you know, the bullish extension getting up into that is realistic for us. And right now even just looking at the bullish the yellow territory here, we would be looking at anywhere from about 95,000 up to that 120,000 or so. And you know, if you just focus on the short term, you're going to get shaken out of your positions. And I think it's best to really step back and realize that we're still in a bull market. So far, everything's looking good. We just need to have that patience and we need to have the courage of our convictions. And Guys, don't use leverage. That's one of the main things. These long wicks in this space, it'll get you, it'll take all your money, and then it'll bounce back like you've seen it do before. And then many times it will continue higher. So just be safe out there. Really stay in spot. I think that's the best thing that you can do. And really don't try to crank up that leverage, guys. Just be safe out there. Don't panic. I do think we're going to end up going a little bit higher. That's my opinion. Merry Christmas. God bless each and every one of you. Take care.